Hey everybody, Josh here for Android Authority, and I wanted to show y'all, or really maybe review with y'all, an oldie but a goodie that's been around since the very, very beginning time of Android. It's called Locale. I'll open it right up. Now, what Locale does is Locale allows you to uh, automate certain actions on your phone, similar to something like Tasker or Automate It. Um, and it lets you set conditions and situations to do things like that. So you'll see that I've got uh, home and default are both active right now and then work is different. And I'll just take you through how we actually create a situation. Uh, this right here is support, this question mark. This uh, Play Store bag with a puzzle piece on it takes you to the Play Store and to all of the locale plugins because there are many third party plugins that you can purchase and then tap into the power of locale with this. Um, this button right here lets you prioritize your situations, which one takes priority over the other. And then this menu button actually only lets you contact support. You'll see up at the top we have an on-off switch, just like you would see in the settings menu pro for profiles in Cyanogen Mod or turning Wi-Fi on and off, things like that. So we'll start a new situation. And from the very first uh, time you hit Add Situation, you are given a couple of options. You can select from a template, uh, silence your phone at night, silence during meetings on your calendar, or uh, silence your ringer by turning the display face down, so turning your phone over like that. Uh, but if you really want to get into the nitty gritty, then you're going to want to start from scratch. Now I'll leave this untitled just because it's not going to be one that I actually use, but to start you need to add a condition, and the condition can range from battery, calendar, caller, location, orientation, and time. Now time is fairly straightforward. It's a day of the week, days of the week between a certain hour uh, span of time. Orientation is if the phone, the display is facing up like this or down like so. Location is one of the more powerful ones. It actually taps into the phone's GPS and you can set certain conditions uh, or certain, um, I guess, uh, what's the term they use? Settings, pardon me, uh, based off of where you're at, where your phone says you're at. You can also do things like if a certain caller calls and they can have a certain ringtone or the phone can do something different. Uh, calendar events and battery percentage. Uh, so why don't we do battery and see what happens. Uh, if it is plugged in, no. If it's unplugged and below 20%, and you hit the check mark down here, so battery below 20%. If my battery drops below 20%, what do I want to happen? Uh, let's say logically, and these are all the things that are built in, and then I, because I'm a desk SMS user, that's a plug-in down at the bottom. But let's say logically, if your battery is below 20%, you would want to turn brightness down to 30%. Uh, just like that, your battery is below 20%. Let's just name this high for time's sake, and just like that, it's saved. Now you'll see that home and default are still active. Default is uh, what your phone does when none of the conditions are activated. Um, and because uh, I have nothing on my defaults right now because I plan to do everything via conditions, um, then uh, that's why they're both active. Now you'll see that high is not active because right up here my battery is at 47%. Um, one thing that bugs me just a hair is that there is constantly a locale notification running and it tells you what conditions are actually active right now. Um, I have home and defaults running, but if you try and swipe it away just because I like to have a really clean notification tray, it doesn't let you. And the explanation for this is that if it doesn't have something in the notification menu, then Android will kill it as a process and then it can no longer uh, continue to monitor your phone. So just something that you'd have to deal with if you are going to use Locale. Um, otherwise, that's pretty much it. It's very, very powerful. The more in-depth you get, but I'm trying to keep this as brief as I possibly can. Locale is by uh, 2.44 a.m., I believe is what they're called. Um, and it is $4.99 in the Google Play Store. A uh, long, long time ago, it was $9.99 when it came out of being a free beta, and so I never purchased it, but now that I notice that the price was slashed, uh, I think it's a great, great investment, especially if you don't want to have to worry about constantly turning on or off GPS, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, volumes, things like that. Uh, last time, it is called Locale, and you can find it in the Google Play Store.